On July 23, 1925, in Johannesburg, South Africa, Roland Gilbert Trevor Poultney entered a world that was brimming with change. The following year, Joseph Stalin began his 27-year leadership of the USSR. In 1927, the jazz singer with Al Jolson debuted as the first talking moving picture, followed by the first broadcast of a rugby match from Cape Town in 1928. In 1929, the first tape recorder appeared, and the American stock market collapsed. In 1930, when Roland reached the ripe old age of five, white women were granted the right to vote in South Africa. Roland was preceded in this world by his two older sisters, Connie and Pat, and was followed by his younger sister, Mari, but it was Pat who became his closest sibling. As the only son, Ron enjoyed the doting attentions of his sisters and mother and developed a mischievous nature that endured throughout his life. In 1933, the South African drought brought tragedy and suffering to the continent. But perhaps the experience was a factor in Roland's burgeoning passion for plant physiology and biochemistry. His education began at Jeppe Prep School where he excelled at sports, including running and rugby. His mischievous nature persisted, however, and they thought he was dumb, so he was sent to Marist School to have the brothers straighten him out. After receiving his undergraduate degree, he joined the Army. Ron wanted to be a pilot, but he was colorblind, so instead he joined the engineers. Ron wanted to go fight the German menace, but the Allied forces brought an end to the war with Germany. Ron then signed up to join the war effort against the Japanese, but with the Japanese surrender, the war ended. Ron and June met in 1946, and soon after, they wanted to get married, but June's father said that they were too young. So finally, after a four-year wait, they married in 1950. They lived in Frankenwald, which was converted barracks housing for ex-military, and Ron studied at the University of Witwatersrand, where he ultimately completed his doctoral studies. Always an adversary of injustice, Ron spoke out often against apartheid and was told that his views might not be appreciated by everyone. So Ron applied for and got a job with the British government to do research on farm crops in Kenya. Ron moved to Kenya in 1950, just in time for the Mau Mau uprising protesting colonial rule. Ron volunteered and was issued a uniform and a rifle to use in defense against the Mau Mau. June followed Ron to Kenya at Christmas with their nine-month-old daughter, Jillian. Initially, living conditions were spartan, but in 1953, the Kenya Agricultural Station was completed, including modern new housing. Bridget was born in 1954, and Elise was born in 1958, and the family set about enjoying the beauty of Kenya. On December 12, 1963, Kenya was granted independence from Great Britain, and all British colonials lost their jobs. Houses and possessions were abandoned as everyone left the country. The family went to England in 1964, and Ron went to Rome to apply for a job with the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Now employed, the family moved across the globe to Ron's new work assignment in Uruguay, where Ron realized his dream of owning a sleek sailboat that he named the Apple. The girls went to school in neighboring Argentina aboard the hydrofoil Aliscafo. Uruguay was followed by Brazil, Brazil was followed by Panama, Panama was followed by Ecuador, and Ecuador was followed by Belize. Who knew how prominently Belize would figure in their lives? In 1974, land was purchased, clearing began, and a modest home was built on what would become the Pulteney Cattle Ranch. One young man that was hired to hand clear the land was a Mayan named Peach, who eventually married a Creole named Orla, and they remain as best friends of the family to this day. Ron and June came to know the Lord, and Ron was baptized on the farm in Masco, Belize, in 1983. They then moved to San Pedro on Ambergris Key and started a church. Once established, they turned the church over to another pastor and moved to Independence, Belize, to help the church there. Having spent a decade in Belize, Ron was ready for a new adventure. So Ron and June joined their daughter Jillian in Canada and sought for an opportunity in the missions field. It came in the form of an appointment to Thailand and another amazing chapter began.
After learning to speak Thai and making many new friends, Ron and June returned to Belize once more and built a home on the Caribbean. After five more happy years in Belize, Ron and June came to the United States and continued to share their love of the Lord. The next ten years were filled with family gatherings and vacations, holidays and celebrations, and quality time spent with loved ones. Ron and June celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary in the summer of 2010. Ron was a fighter to the end, and as he starts on this new journey, he must know that we love him and that we will miss him, and we're with him in spirit, and we hope to be with him again soon.